Jim Blurton tools designed to work, built to last. The Jim Blurton shoemaking tools offer the farrier a complete range of tools to forge the best shoes possible. Ergonomically designed using many years of forging experience, Jim Blurton's range of shoemaking tools make forging more comfortable and ultimately easier. Manufactured using top quality tool steel which has been specially selected to cope with the rigours of day to day forging and shoemaking. Hand finished to the excellent standards that world champion farrier Jim Blurton demands. All tools are fully guaranteed to live up to the excellent quality of any product that carries the Jim Blurton name. Tried and tested by the world's best farriers, these tools have been seen in many top farriers toolboxes, including several world champions. For more information on the Jim Blurton range of farrier tools, go to www.jimblurton.com or telephone 0044-1938. 580222Before shoeing the horse, it is important to assess the horse's conformation, both statically and dynamically. Following the initial assessment, an individual shoeing plan should then be considered. The full range of Jim Blurton bar shoes encompasses a high quality bespoke hand forged shoe, all within the convenience of a ready made shoe. The Jim Blurton Heart Bar Shoe is an ideal treatment for horses suffering from laminitic conditions, sand cracks, pedal bone fractures and a variety of other conditions that require hoof capsule stabilisation. Jim Blurton will now demonstrate the fitting techniques for his Heart Bar Shoe. With a shoeing plan in place, Jim begins trimming the foot. He balances the foot to the long axis whilst retaining symmetry of the foot. Due to the nature of this laminitic foot and its footfall, Jim lowers the heels slightly. With the foot prepared, Jim selects the correct size bar shoe. Without the aid of radiographs, Jim uses a few general guidelines to maximise the effect of his heart bar shoes. For best results, Jim recommends consulting with a veterinary surgeon. When shoeing the chronic laminitic, Jim fits the toe of the shoe to where the toe of the foot would be if there was no hoof capsule distortion created by the laminal wedge. Jim uses the widest part of the foot to indicate the centre of rotation. Jim uses a reference point approximately 10mm back from the point of frog. This indicates the position of the bar. He aligns this with the point of bar, ensuring that the bar tip is a minimum of 10mm or 3 8 of an inch back from the point of frog. Jim ensures that there is at least 50% of the shoe behind the centre line of rotation to provide adequate caudal support. Looking from the solar surface, a parallel line can also be taken level with the widest part of the frog. This will confirm the support required. 
Jim recommends taking a good even heat before making any alterations to the heart bar shoe. He narrows the shoe and the bar before laying the clips on. He ensures the shoe is level before taking the shoe to the foot. Jim checks the fit of the shoe, the position of the bar and the angles of the clips. He makes some minor alterations to the width of the shoe and the angle of the clips before taking the shoe back to the foot. Using a grinder, the shoe can then be safed off as necessary. Once Jim is happy with the fit, he nails the shoe on. The pitched nail holes built into the shoe makes nailing on easy and helps maintain a strong hoof capsule. With the shoe nailed on, Jim clenches up, rounds the toe and finishes the foot whilst retaining strength and integrity of the dorsal wall. The benefits of the Jim Blurton Heart Bar shoe in the treatment of laminitis are twofold. Initially, permanent positive support is applied onto the frog. Once the bony column has been stabilised, the Jim Blurton Heart Bar shoe would be fitted with marginal support with positive support initiated during the weight bearing aspect of the stride. This case study shows the improvement of the hoof capsules to Basil, a riding school pony who has been shod in Jim Blurton's heart bar shoes since his arrival at the riding school six months ago. Even though extensive damage had occurred to Basil's hoof capsules due to laminitis in the past, he is now happy working on a daily basis. For more information on the Jim Blurton Bar Shoe range, go to www.jimblurton.com. These fitting instructions have been brought to you in conjunction with nofootnohorse.com. Welcome to NoFootNoHorse.com, the leading farrier education website. We provide clear information in the form of short movies in high resolution format, covering all farrier related subjects. The majority of our movies are filmed, edited and produced by farriers for farriers, but they may be of special interest to vets and horse owners. We have many top farriers worldwide who will be sharing their wealth of knowledge. The No Foot No Horse team are totally committed to farrier education and know that the world equine population can only benefit from the information available at nofootnohorse.com.